Hey, Shooby Doodlers, how are you doing? Uh, well, it's coming up to Halloween, so I am going to draw you three, four, in fact, different kinds of kind of pumpkin heads. So this one's got quite a um, kind of a longish, tallish kind of face, and we want to have the the stalk has been sort of snapped off like that. And I'm going to start by putting kind of a curve and a curve like that. And that's going to come out and around and up, out and around and up like that. And then I'm going to do kind of the thickness of the the skin like that. And then we're going to do two little kind of nostrils like that. <laughs> and then I'm going to just do very, very simply, it's going to come quite low down like that. And then go up zigzag 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 and then we can just do the teeth kind of with the thickness of the thing like that so that's one um and then i'm going to draw um this one's going to be more kind of ooh, kind of up and down and up and down and sort of slightly irregular like that and hey, let's put a little curly um stalk on it like that and now here I'm going to draw it's a kind of an S shape a sideways S shape and then we want to come down and around and up this will come down and around and up and then we're going to do a similar kind of thing to get the the thickness and then I'm just going to do lots of zigzag 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 I'm going to do this really kind of quite zigzaggy this one all the way up there and then all the way up here so this is quite <laughs> quite zigzaggy and quite vicious I suppose really and then we want to do these kind of thicknesses and then we'll start on the other angle like that there we are just to get that and some of these you might want to see a thickness too like that there we are so that's a second one and now and now, oh yeah, what shall we do? Now, <laughs> next one I'm going to make just a little bit more. I'm just going to kind of draw it around like that. So this one's going to be uh, just like something like that. So this one's going to be a bit more fun. So we're going to do two semicircles like that and across like that there. So the semicircle and across. And then we're going to want to come do our semicircles up around like that you might want a bit there and a bit there and then i'm going to do just do a simple little triangly nose and again i think we'll just have a simple uh should we have like a one tooth kind of thing like that there so that will come down that will want to go there Ooh, we needed that there as well didn't we like that so that's a very simple kind of silly one and now I'm going to do another one. We're going to do one of those kind of long, flat ones that you get like that, and that's going to want to have its stalk sticking up there like that again. And now we're going to come across and do a little semicircle and across here, across a little semicircle and across, kind of going up a bit like that. And then that's going to go around and back to there. So the thickness will kind of look like that. And that will come there and around there. And shall I give him some kind of a nose? Uh -uh. Uh -uh, like that. <laughs> and then the mouth, I'm going to kind of put sort of sharp fangs. And uh, things for the memory. Now look, this week, keep coming back every day until Halloween, because this week, well, the next few days until Halloween, I will be doing a Halloween-themed drawing every single day just to keep you going and give you kind of ideas for what to draw on Halloween. When you're sure the ink is dry, then you can erase any pencil lines. And pumpkins can come in some pretty weird colours, so you could do this one in a kind of an ochery yellowy brown and a little green stalk 
this can be a traditional orangey color. In case you're wondering what I'm painting with, this is a Pentel Aquash water brush. So I'm painting with watercolor here. I've got my little paint box and the water is in the handle, uh, which means you don't have to keep looking for bottles of water and stuff like that. So it's always there and it's always ready uh, for you to use as long as you've got water in the handle. Let's make this one a bit more red. If you want to know more about this paintbrush, then I've got uh, links in the description box below. And as with all pumpkin drawings, it's good if you cut them out and put them against a black background. So keep coming back. I'll see you tomorrow for more Halloween drawing. Well, thanks for watching. Please like this video and make sure you are subscribed to the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel. You can support my videos by following me on my Patreon page. Put your drawing idea requests in the comments box below and remember to keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.